So let us solve the problems on Laplace transforms. So that is actually we may call as the modal number 1 or type number 1. The problems based on basic formulae or elementary formulae. So first let us solve one of the problems, the first problem. So first let me read the question first. Find Laplace transform of 3 plus 5t plus 2e power t plus 8 sin 2t or the question may be given like this or instead of asking like that the question may be asked a Laplace of 3 plus 5t plus 2e power t plus 8 times sin 2t. In order to solve this problem so now we need to recall here three formulae. The first formula is Laplace transform of t power n, the next Laplace transform of e power a t and Laplace transform of sin of a t. So if you could remember these three formulae, this problem easily we can solve it. So first let us recall these three formulae first, after that let us proceed for the problem. Okay? So now the Laplace transform of t power n is n factorial by s to the power of n plus 1 where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. That means n is a positive integer. So in the similar manner the Laplace transform of e power a t is that is nothing but 1 by s minus a. So you may, you may be knowing that formula and whereas the Laplace transform of sin of a t is very simple that is a by that will be s square plus a square. So that means now using these three formulae let us solve this problem now. The solution proceeds like this solution. So this can be written like this Laplace transform of 3 plus 5t plus 2e power t plus 8 times sin 2t. So using linearity property, so this can be written as further Laplace transform of 3 that is constant plus phi common Laplace transform of t that appears to be t power n or t to the power of n plus 2 times Laplace transform of e power t plus 8 times the Laplace transform of sin 2t. So let me recall the formula first. So for recall the formula. So first let us write here Laplace transform of constant is c by s. Am I correct? Laplace transform of t power n is n factorial by s power n plus 1 where n is a positive integer. Laplace transform of e power a t whose value is equal to 1 by s minus a. Am I correct? So now the Laplace transform of sin a t is we get a by s square plus a square. Okay? So these are the required formulae to solve this problem. So first let the problem will be solved here. So now the as Laplace transform of constant is c by s, the Laplace transform of 3 can be written as 3 by s. Am I correct? And next plus 5 into Laplace transform of t. t is nothing but t power 1. So that means here n stands for 1, 1 factorial by s to the power of 1 plus 1. 1 factorial is very simple that is 1, the 1 by s square you will be getting. So this will be 5 times 1 by s square. Okay. So now easily you can expect this value now plus 2 times Laplace transform of e power t. That means Laplace transform of e power a t is 1 by s minus a. e power t means 1 by s minus 1. So we get here 
2 times 1 by s minus 1 and plus 8 times here the Laplace transform of sine 2t. The Laplace transform of sine 80 is a by s square plus a square. Here we have a for 2. So 2 divided by s square plus 2 square we can write it. Am I correct now? So here 8 times 2 divided by s square plus 2 square. So let it be simplified. So we get the answer now. This is this equals to 3 by s plus 5 by s square. Am I correct? Plus 2 by s minus 1 plus 16 by s square plus 4. So in this way we can solve this problem. one more problem that is second problem first let me read the question first find Laplace transform of 2 plus 3 t plus 5 by root over t here we need to apply the two formulae so that is Laplace transform of t power n and Laplace transform of that is actually here t to the power of minus of that will be root of pi by s. So with the help of these two, so we can solve this problem actually is only one formula that is Laplace transform of t power n that is equal to actually gamma n plus 1 by s to the power of n plus 1 whenever n is not a positive integer. So that is why the Laplace transform of t power minus of becomes root of pi by s. So, so now with the help of this one now we can solve this problem. First let us solve the problem now. Solution Laplace transform of 2 plus 3 t okay, plus 5 by root t using linearity property. So this can be rewritten as Laplace transform of 2 plus 3 times Laplace transform of t ok. So plus this can be written phi the Laplace transform of 1 by root t. See 1 by root t means that is 1 by t power 1 by 2 am I correct? This can be rewritten as t to the power of minus of. So instead of this phi by root t we can write phi times Laplace transform of t power minus of. Here now the Laplace transform of constant is equal to c by s am I correct? Laplace transform of t power n when n is a positive integer that is n factorial by s power n plus 1. Whereas the Laplace transform of t power minus of it had better to remember that will be root of pi by s. So now remember these formulae so that we can proceed for the next step. The now the next step follows Laplace transform of 2 is 2 by s am I correct? Whereas the Laplace transform of t that means t power is 1 here 1 factorial by s power 1 plus 1 1 factorial is 1 s power 2 that is 1 by s square. So we can write the next step as 3 multiplied by 1 by s square plus whereas this one is very very important now phi times root over pi by s. So now this equals to 2 by s ok 2 by s plus 3 by s square plus phi times root of pi by s. That means the t function has been converted into the s function. That means time is converted to the here that is the frequency. So thus the problem has been solved. So in this way we can solve the problem. So now we shall move to the next problem.